Okay, we are back up. Uh, for some reason, we just lost internet. It's annoying as crap. All right, so we're still continuing from the last one, which I guess I'm going to edit all these together. I've managed to get to another area. Do the reload faster for passive. And I've managed to use my uh, clip a few times to actually get through uh, a couple of the locks, so that's good. All right. Blunderbuss. Laser rifle. I'm just curious. I gotta get it. Shoots anything. Good job. All right, let me type up a little message here. So as I put, welcome back. Sorry, I had a slight, com complete loss of internet. It got better. All right. Try the Ubelette again. This is stupidly difficult. I completely forgot about that. Lucky be alive right there. This run is not going to go well. Ah, I knew it. Oh, well, had a pretty good run. Let's try it again.
Will you die, you little brat? Oh, of course. Whole lot of nope, nope, nope. Oh, he hit me. Okay, no. T-shirt cannon. Yes. It's like Mom Flanders. I'm just gonna t shirt everybody. Alright, I guess I'm getting that one heart. <laughs> oh, missed the door over here, huh? Unless I find an actual, you know, set of keys, it's not worth it. Love this t-shirt, Cannon. Nailed him. I'm loving this t-shirt cannon. <laughs> ah, welcome back, Caleb. Glad you can actually hear me. Didn't have anybody listening earlier, so I couldn't tell if my microphone's actually coming through correctly or what's going on. Lockpick. Ooh, C4. Hello. I 
Oh, good to know. I pulled out the good mic for this one. <laughs> Killer grenade with a t-shirt. Yeah, I'll figure out something for the C4, but I'm loving this t-shirt cannon. Back a pack. Key armor. Oh, I guess I have more than one item. Nice. I left a chest back here? Ooh, I did. Refuse to lose. Little bomber. Whoa! <laughs> well, that's gonna be fun. Yeah, Caleb, you really need to buy this game. It's worth every penny. Make sure I got everything. Yep, guess I'm going for the boss fight. Uh, I can skip these guys again. Okay, I'm not doing too good. There are t-shirts everywhere. Must have got one of them. Ah! Oh, so close. So close. <laughs> Try it again. <laughs> oh, I was trying to get with a t shirt. That was hilarious. <sighs> now you see why I love this game so much, Caleb, because stuff like that happens all the time. Oh, wasn't paying attention.
Whoa. And this is available on other systems and like computer and so forth, but just the fact I can take this with me anywhere and practice with it makes it so worth it. Whoa, that was... I got a heart, that helps. <laughs> I'm not doing well this round. Hollow Knight will come out. You're talking about the expansion for... Um, oh, I just blanked on the name. Shovel Knight, right? Oh, yeah. Alboy's coming out for the Switch. I know that got announced. Heck Blaster. Whoa, Nelly. Hoo hoo! Well, this should be fun. Almost died there. Hey, the snowballer. And he has no hearts. You. Mm -hmm. <sighs> huh. Playing ukulele, I see, Caleb. Alright, let's see. I ain't got enough for anything else. How you liking ukulele? I'm, uh, I'm actually waiting for the physical copy myself before I pick it up. I heard it was much improved on the Switch versus the other ones. Yeah, the bullets do go off the screen. It's quite funny. Uh, I'm not going to do the secret stage. I don't have the keys for it anyways. Actually, I might. I could get lucky and do a double roll.
I don't have any heart pieces, right? No, of course not. Oh, I gotta earn another chance. Okay. Dang it. So close. Oh. Time to face the boss, I guess. Ah, oh, yes. The Metal Gear joke. I'll let you watch this one. If you remember, oh, I think it was Vulcan Raven or something like that for uh, Metal Gear. This is kind of like that. It's a Gatling gun bird with a lot of muscles called Gatling Gull. I jumped the wrong way. <laughs> Switch characters. Yeah, this game gets tough, man. So you've got the Marine, as you saw before. It's kind of like a Doom Guy, Halo type thing. The Pilot. The convict and the hunter, which has a corgi, so that's kind of adorable. Okay, I wonder if I got any. I got six. I'll probably open up something. Nope, that takes eight. Eight. No, the hooded one is for co-op. Um, if I go up to her and select her after I pick one of mine, it'll enable the se uh, second player. See, the convict starts off with a shotgun, which is nice.
Really? I got, found those once before. I had no idea what they actually did. Let me go. Second key. Gotcha. I guess. I remember I tried using them and it actually hurt me and did something. But I didn't pay attention to what. Hey, more hearts. I swear that teleport is so, so convenient. Got myself a heart piece. I haven't quite figured out the bonus stuff yet, but I'm working on it. Armor. Dude, I'm racking up some stuff this round. Oh, it had a fuse on it. Well, that's trippy. Charmed bow. See, I wish I could find the love gun again, because it shot puppies. Yes, I said puppies. And they have those, like, big doughy eyes, and they'd, uh, bounce around. Have a little love. Ah, I gotta quit in the trigger. Okay, a shotgun, not too good with this guy. Yeah, puppies. Oh, the I have the beholder. The beholster, sorry. Actually, pretty good gun. Going down.
So you've seen me kill a bird. That's a start. So I'm glad I finally have this working where I can stream, but I really need to update my computer. That old thing is uh, straining to do this. Oh, that's new. I don't I don't know what those are. Well, let's try something. Oh, okay. I guess it just loved me and it went away. Weird. Oh, God, no. Oh, it must be the eyeballs when I'm reloading. I guess if I make it all the way through, they come out. That's weird. Okay. That's a byproduct of the gun. Yes! The mailbox! This gun is so great. It'll shoot letters, and if you go all the way through without reloading, it shoots a package at the end, which, like, smacks him in the face. Special delivery. Nice. Got a heart and an ammo refill. Already the boss for level two. Nice. Ugh. Nice thing about this character also, if she gets hit, she has a damage bonus for a limited amount of time. So if I screw up, I can at least take advantage of it. Whoa, okay. Well, that was new. I can't get in there. What if I got enough to buy a key? I do. I do have enough to buy a key. What? I have a stinger missile. Okay. Um... I'm going to save that.
Take that key. Back to the maintenance. Oh, yeah, I'm going to have fun with that stinger missile. Let's see. Yeah, I don't have that. You can slow down time and switch weapons, too. Ah, oh, you stupid little taser guy. Whoa! New! That's new. You're not new, you're annoying. Oh! Wow, that tore me up. Didn't even get to use my missile launcher. Dang, that was a pretty good run. Take a screenshot of that. Alright, give this one more run through, then I might call it a night. I've been doing this for a while. Yeah, it was so many bullets. I just dropped a chandelier on him. Mm. I'm going to kill that rat one day. Dang. Okay, that's not going well. Good lord. Make it work for that one.
Hey, I got a key. Rocket powered bullets. Wow, they do go faster. Ghost bullets. Are we kidding? I probably need that. Dang, if I had a way to open that, I could go to the other level, but eh, whatever. Hey, I finally got it! The Zapper, the light gun. Oh, third party, the orange and gray. I wonder if the gray, the original gray one is uh, the actual Nintendo one. The first party, maybe. Time for a boss fight. That zapper tears up some stuff, though. Oh, that was nuts. Alright, before I go, I will show you some of the weapons and stuff that I found. That's actually kind of cool. If you're still there, Caleb, are you there? So you got the standard guns that come with it, the pea shooter you get during the basic trial, the unfinished gun, which you can pause and go back and look at these later. Of course, the M1911 classic, the SAA. Flare gun's actually a lot of fun. It'll hit them and catch them on fire. Big iron shoots really big bullets. So, yeah. Actually, I think that's the one that shoots actual... No, there's one that actually shoots anvils. I'll show you that one in a minute. Regular shotgun. Says it all. Sawed off. Knew about that one. There it is. Shotgun full of love. Uh, when you fire this, it shoots puppies. Which I need to find again. Blunderbuss. You saw that earlier. The siren. Prevents the goop effect, which is kind of cool. But that's also good for putting out the fire. Anything like water or ice base can do that. The Huntsman, the Axes of Evil. Whenever you reload it, it swings like an axe. The Blooper, that's the one I was talking about where, uh, where it says a poor facsimile of the gun that can kill the past. Well, it's the Looper gun from that. Uh, when you hit him, and they just throws him. There's the Charm Bow, that's the one I got earlier. What does that do? Little physical damage, but they're coated in a potent hallucinogen. 
Oh, that's interesting. Triple crossbow. Three is greater than one. This one I love. The shot bow. A teleporter accident. Sticky crossbow. Shoots darts that when you reload explode. So you can just pile up on something and then just trap them. Traditional crossbow. Moonshot shoots like a big star if you charge it up that hits something and blows up. Uh, Thompson submachine gun. It's machine gun. Crown of guns. It is literally what you think. It's a crown covered in guns that when you fire, shoots in every direction rapid fire. It's insane. The Vertebraic 47 um, is one of the weirder guns. It shoots out these weird hooks that chain onto each other and just, I don't know, it's weird. Balloon gun. Blows things around. Uh, the heck blaster you saw earlier that just shoots like crazy. Uh, this is actually the gun from uh, Earthworm Jim. That's why it says used by a wiggly hero in the early days of the Gungeon. Which makes me wonder, is Earthworm Jim in here somehow? Winchester rifle, pretty basic. The Corsair. This one's kind of weird. It uh, shoots like a little boat and it bounces around circumventing the entire map and then exploding. Void Marshal, pretty quick little laser gun. Uh, this is the first one I got was the prototype rail gun, which I got to shoot once and then I died. Rubidine prototype. Uh, I'm not sure where that one it ricochets around. Alien sidearm. Looks like a zapper of some sort. Uh, oh, okay. It looks like uh, something from Halo. Three major wars, alien races. Yeah. Flash ray, classic one. The wind-up gun. It, literally, when you go to reload, it does a dun 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 and it goes through it each time. It's really funny. Uh, Hegemony Carbine sucks for aim. Pretty good gun, though. Or the rifle. That's the one that's bad. Carbine's a little different. Helix shoots out, like, little waves that, like, looks like DNA. Charge shot. You just charge it. RPG, got to fart once, then I died. Stinger, you saw, I didn't even get a chance to fire. A little bomber is weird. Hexagon, another one that I got that I died before I got to use it. Phoenix just shoots fire on everything. Snowballer shoots snowballs. Ah, there it is, the Anvilant. Anvilin. It literally fires anvils. So you have a big box on your arm. When you go to charge it, it shoots an anvil that flies across the level and smacks things. Proton backpack from Ghostbusters. I love the fact that the bottom is originally brought to the Gungeon by a team of investigators who suspected that something strange was going on. Mega Dowser, uh, which, you know, it's a super soaker. It shoots a lot of water. There's a light gun for third party. I think this is going to be the other one. Mail gun. There's the mahogany, which is like a plant-based grenade launcher. The scrambler shoots a big bullet that when it hits something, it shatters and turns into little bullets and goes after everybody. Kind of fun. Uh, trash cannon literally shoots trash that poisons everyone. Glacier freezes everything. Skull spitter shoots little skulls everywhere. Uh, or gunny shoots paper airplanes and throwing knives or throwing stars. Uh, it's fun when it reloads your fold the paper. You saw I had the Beholster. Molotov launcher is pretty self-explanatory as it says. Just throws them. Shock rifle is powerful. That thing tears through some stuff. Uh, the lowercase r is one of the funniest guns that I've seen. Uh, because it literally says and spells out the word bullet when you fire and then pew pew and bang when it hits something. Yeah. Uh, T-shirt cannon. That's another one I saw earlier that's really good to hit stuff. I don't know what the directional pad does yet. I haven't found one. And then lastly, the serious cannon. So, I mean, there's all kinds of items you can find. Oh, dude, check out some of the bosses. Gatling guns, smiley shades, the beholster, the bullet king, uh, gorgon, and the Amaconda. That's, these are the ones that I've beat. Uh, they don't show up. There's a couple other ones I fought that I haven't beat yet. And all the different enemy types. 
that I've run into. And yes, they're stupid mimics. It bit me. It sucks. <laughs> Little Cthulhu like thing. So yeah, this is just this this game is insane. I cannot cannot recommend enough just getting it. It's not bad. It's like fifteen bucks, but it's worth it. So, all right, I'm gonna call it for the night. Stop this crazy thing, Caleb. I appreciate you watching. Uh, anybody else that watches it later, you can find me at Zen's Path on Twitter or uh, Zen's Path or YouTube.com forward slash Zen's Path, or any of my articles having to write over on Zen's Path.com. Also, Caleb, as well as myself, sometimes doing the Zen's Path podcast. You can find it on iTunes or on YouTube. So I'm heading out.